Let me tell you about the first time I ate bugs. It was during my final week in Yunnan, the far southwestern province bordering Myanmar, Laos, and Vietnam. I had just been hired to write a guidebook about Hong Kong, and only had a short time to explore before moving there for good. I had been living in Dali Ancient City, and spent most of my time those three months around Arhai Lake in Dali County. But Dali County is just one of 12 in Dali Prefecture, which covers 11,370 square miles. I wanted to see more far-flung places, so I got onto a small bus and rode over mountains and around steep curves along mountain roads until I arrived in Shashi. Halfway between Dali and Lijiang, Shashi is one of the towns on the ancient tea horse road to Bengal that is still in relatively good condition. The scenery is amazing, the architecture is beautiful, the town has a laid-back vibe. I walked through the fields and saw local people wearing their traditional clothing. Children who had just gotten out of school celebrated summer break by tearing their papers up and throwing them into the air. A local music group was practicing and they let me watch. Then, at night, my fellow hostel stayers and I sat outside on the square and drank beer. Compared to Dali, Shashi was less crowded and more relaxed, but just as worthy of visiting. I would have stayed longer had I time, but I had just a few days there, and in that time, I had to try its local food. Now, Shashi, like Dali, is a town with a population that is majority Bai ethnicity. Shashi is about 90% Bai, Dali 60%. The Bai are one of the 56 officially recognized ethnic groups in China. 80% of Bai people live in Dali Bai Autonomous Prefecture, which was the base of the Nanjiao and Dali kingdoms. At its peak, from the 700s to the 900s, Nanjiao had conquered northern Burma and defeated the Tang Dynasty in battles, expanding all the way to Chengdu. Only the Mongol-led Yuan Dynasty could eventually conquer the later Dali Kingdom and integrate Yunnan into China. So, they are the same ethnic group, from the same prefecture, sharing much of the same history and culture, do the Shashi Bai eat the same foods as the Dali Bai? Do you eat Huangmen chicken here in Shashi? I asked. No, one of the Bai people working the desk at the hostel said. That's Dali people's food. So I went to a small family owned restaurant out down the road, away from the square, to see for myself. I want your most authentic, most tusa, tusa means characteristic, local food, I said. I went to take a look at what they were cooking, and I was clueless. I had no idea what it was. There were some colorless, thin, round things in their wok. They didn't look like anything I'd ever seen cooked before. What is this? I asked. The chef said a word I didn't know. Is it a vegetable? Chu shu cai ma? Bu shi. It's not a vegetable. Na, shi xian mo rou. What kind of meat is it? Bushu roll. It's not meat. What could it be if it wasn't meat or a vegetable? They delivered it to my table, and uh, here it is. Fried, oily, segmented things, whose bodies plump at one end. It was served with fried, crunchy strips of rice cake. Looking at it, I thought, why would you go to a small town in rural China and order the most toasted dish on the menu? Not even on the menu. You didn't even look at the menu. But I had ordered it, and I did want to experience something authentic, didn't I? I took one between my chopsticks, lifted it towards my mouth. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. It really didn't taste like anything. It was just crunchy and had a bit of texture. They were bamboo worms. Things that grow up to be moths. Cut open a stick of bamboo and you can find a feast of these. It was my first time to eat bugs, and I thought, well, that was an experience, but I'm not going to eat that again, am I? A year or so later, I was back in Shanghai visiting a Chinese friend, and I took her to a Yunnan restaurant. I ordered her bamboo worm larva, as well as other things. She did not end up eating any of the larva, but I enjoyed it. 
the bamboo ones there were cooked with mint leaves and spices. It seems that restaurants in Shanghai do a more elaborate recipe than the one in a local person's home cooking restaurant in Yunnan. The restaurant is called Yunshan, Beyond the Clouds, and it's located at the end of Nanjing East Road Pedestrian Street and Hunan Middle Road. I would recommend it. Later on, I would have uh, dragonflies, which we dipped in a spicy powder with my brother in Yunnan, in Lijiang, and uh, scorpion on a stick on Wangfujing in Beijing. Uh, these are not my favorite dishes in China, not even close, but larva and dragonflies and scorpions are the best dishes to have with your friend who is visiting China for the first time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, subscribe. Look for me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Mitch Blatt Writer and uh, follow my blog at chinatravelwriter.com slash blog. I'm going to have new videos coming out from my travels in Korea and China coming up in May, so look forward to that.